I am so excited for today's soapy project because it features not one, but five nature's fragrance fragrance oils. So let me backtrack and tell you a little bit why I decided to do things a little bit differently this time. And that's because for a while now, I've really been having this craving for a deliciously sweet, delectable, coffee-scented soap. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't have a full bottle of one fragrance oil that would be able to make a full batch with. But I had a bunch of little bottles of All of Nature's Fragrance's amazing coffee scents. So I got to thinking and decided that I would make a blend. And um, it's always kind of a gamble when I do blends. I either epically fail or they turn out amazing. And I got lucky this time, it turned out amazing. So what I did is I just took all these incredible coffee scented fragrances that Nature's Fragrance offers and I started blending. And how I blend is I take these little q-tips here and I'll start dipping a q-tip into each of the fragrances that I want to include in my blend. And so from there I just kind of smell it and see maybe what more of one particular fragrance I want in it and just start adding more q-tips until I get to the point where it's perfect. So for this blend, um, as you can see on the bag, I wrote what I used. It has two q-tips of Nature's Fragrance Espresso Ice Cream Fragrance Oil, two q-tips of their um, Caramel Cream Coffee Fragrance Oil, one of their Roasted Coffee Beans, and one of their Cafe Mocha Fragrance Oil. So from there, it shows me how to make the full blend. And what I essentially did, because when I did the math, on this, um, it came out to a bunch of little in-between numbers. To make it easier on myself, um, I uh, ended up blending, it came out to 0.65 ounces of espresso ice cream fragrance oil, 0.65 ounces of caramel cream coffee, uh, 0.35 ounces of roasted coffee beans and 0.35 ounces of cafe mocha fragrance oil to create two ounces total. So, oh, when I smell this blend, I am so happy. And the coolest thing about it is I had my husband smell it as well. And his exact words were, I could drink this. Now, when my husband has anything to say about a fragrance oil, that's a good sign because he usually just either grunts or shrugs. So any kind of verbal remarks from him mean it's outstanding. So I really lucked out on this blend and it turned out incredible. It smells delectable and sweet. Mm. Just coffee goodness. Any combination that you add these delectable fragrances together at is going to be amazing. The fifth one that I'm going to use is Nature's Fragrances Gretel's Morning Cup. And this one I'm going to use for the very top, for the piped top of it. So I just think it's going to smell absolutely uh, just scrumptious. So... I wanted to quickly, while I had the bottles here out with me, um, the blend itself smells, like I said, just mouth-watering and delicious, and I have to force myself to not take a sip of it. But I wanted to smell each of these and quickly describe to you what I smell from each and every fragrance oil. So first with this espresso ice cream fragrance oil, This is definitely a dark roast coffee, so the espresso is accurate. It's dark roast, it's sweet, it's creamy. It's very sweet, very sweet, very creamy, dark roast coffee. The coffee note is very strong, so like I said, this is definitely espresso ice cream. Oh. Then for their caramel cream coffee, this one's very dear to my heart. Ah, oh, the caramel is so there. The coffee is there. 
but that caramel, not quite as sweet as espresso ice cream, but the caramel just really sweetens it up and it's really present in this blend. Absolutely gorgeous, delicious. Then we have roasted coffee beans. Now this one is really special. Oh my goodness, this to me smells like if you went out and you bought a bag of like specialty coffee, like the kind that already has like a flavor added to it. So, cause there's a little bit of sweet down at the bottom, but it smells like if you bought a bag of specialty coffee and you just opened it up to smell it. So it smells like, it smells like the pre-brewed bean, like a full bean coffee. Pre-brewed, a little bit of sweet down at the bottom. So yeah, just it. There's no other way I can describe this other than it smells like just putting your nose in a bag of the most delicious specialty coffee prior to brewing it. It's so good. And then um, the cafe mocha. I really, I really, really like this one. <sighs> This to me, again, the coffee note is so there, but I do, the, to me, it reminds me of like when you work with cocoa, like it definitely has that chocolate cocoa note in there. It's so good. So good. And then for the top, uh, the piped top, Gretel's Morning Cup. So this one, when I smell it, mm. I don't get like a very, very strong coffee note from it, but what I do get is more of like a, like a creamy gingerbread latte. That's what I smell when I smell this. Ah, oh, so each and every one of these fragrance oils is absolutely delectable on their own, but because I didn't have a full bottle of them, I just started blending away and like I said I got lucky and blended something absolutely incredible. Mm. So I am so excited to get this blend in a batch of soap and for this batch we're going to take it all the way and we are going to put fresh brewed coffee in it as well as coffee beans themselves. So let's get started. And for this one, I'm gonna show you how I mix up the lye solution because I will be putting this freshly brewed chilled uh, coffee in the lye solution. So let's get started with that. And uh, yeah, let's make some soap, some coffee soap. So when it comes to using coffee in a cold process recipe, it's kind of the same way, actually it is the same way when I made the beer soap a while ago. Um, you can substitute either part of your liquid for the coffee or all of your liquid for the coffee. It's whichever you prefer. So for me, I like to really add that aloe blend in there. So I decided to do half and half. So half of my lye solution is going to be my normal aloe juice Tessa Silk blend. And then the remaining half of it is going to be this freshly brewed chilled coffee. Make sure it's chilled. It can be frozen if you'd like to, but at least chilled before you add it to, or before you add the lye to it. So let's start with that. So I have half of my total liquid already poured out, and now I need to measure the other half in the form of this coffee. So I'm going to go ahead and get that weighed out now, and I need 4.35 ounces of this coffee. Okay, so there it is. There's my total liquid that I need for the recipe, half of it being my aloe blend, my aloe Tessa silk blend, and the other half being chilled brewed coffee. Now it's time to add the lye. So here I have my lye all weighed out. Here's 4.35 ounces of it. I'm using this at a ratio of two parts liquid to one part lye or approximately a 33% lye concentration. So this gets added directly to the liquid very carefully and make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. So I've just added my lye to my liquid, which is a blend of aloe juice and Tessa silk and um, brewed coffee. And just keep on stirring until that lye is fully dissolved 
and all the fibers of that test of silk is fully dissolved as well if you're using it. Okay, so my coffee lye solution is all ready. Everything's dissolved. It's looking good. It's just very, very hot now. It's actually close to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and we need this to cool down to room temperature. So I'm going to set this aside and let it cool, get my oils ready, and then I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to make some All soap. right, it's time to get to making some delicious coffee cold process soap. My whole soaping area is smelling absolutely wonderful. Um, that coffee blend is just filling up this space wonderfully. I can't wait to get it into a batch of cold process soap and smell how amazing it's going to smell in that. It's literally all the coffee fragrances that nature's Nature's Fragrance carries that I'll be incorporating in this batch of soap in one way or another. So I'm just really excited. So let's get to soap making here. First things first is we need to add our lye solution to our uh, melted down oils. Everything is at room temperature now. I have already added my sodium lactate to my cold lye solution. And um, just for recap, our lye solution is half of an aloe tussa silk blend and half of um, freshly brewed coffee. So let's get that in there and let's I'm make some soap. Slowly add my lye solution in. And now I'm going to stir to get everything nicely incorporated. Now this is also where I am gonna go ahead and add my coffee grounds. And for the coffee grounds, I'm using this at a rate of one teaspoon per pound of oils, and I have two pounds of oils in this batch, so I have two teaspoons of coffee grounds here. Now these are post-brewed coffee grounds that have been dried, and the reason for that is because if you use pre-brewed coffee grounds, um, it can bleed into your soap and it'll create little halos of uh, like brown coffee um, in the soap. And some people actually really like the look of that, so that's fine too if it doesn't bother you. But I didn't want this bleeding into my soap. So these are post-brewed um, espresso ground coffee grounds, and we'll add them to our soap. And I'm just going to stir these in really well before I hit it with the stick blender and bring this to a light trace. Okay, it's now time to stick blend. really quick and go get my apron back on because I forgot to put it on and uh, that's a good way to mess up a shirt. So aprons on and our soap is now at a thin trace so it's time to split this off. Now this fragrance oil blend does contain a good amount of vanillin in it so it is going to discolor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some colors to it but I'm only going to add the fragrance to my brown portion because that will discolor naturally anyway. And then I'm gonna leave the other colored portions unscented so that those are unhindered by any uh, vanillin darkening. But let's get this split off and get it colored in our respective colors. So I've split off my soap batter into three uh, portions, which will be accent colors. And for the first color, we're going to use, it's called white satin mica. We'll get that stirred in. So the white satin mica is now stirred in. We'll get the second color. Since this gorgeous coffee blend smells so much like a creamy, rich, decadent, sweet caramel coffee type scent, I thought this butterscotch mica would look perfect. So we'll get the next portion colored with this. And our last accent color is going to be this Sahara Gold mica. All our accent colors are done, so I'm going to set these off to the side. 
And the next thing is to get the main batch colored or the, the rest of the batter colored. Um, and because it's going to discolor anyway, I'm going to beat it to the punch and I'm going to color it with, uh, it's called Latte Mica. So we're just going to add that in there and uh, just make sure that discoloration happens nice and evenly throughout the soaps. And this is where I will add all that lovely fragrance oil blend as well. So I've stirred in that beautiful brown mica and that delicious coffee fragrance oil blend. My whole workspace smells like a coffee house right now. It's time to get this. First things order. first is I'm just going to lay down a layer of the brown. And then I'm going to come in and drop swirl with my colors. First one being this butterscotch accent. Next our Sahara Gold. And the White. And just repeat. Now here is also where I thought it would be really fun to embed this cute little heart-shaped column. So I'm just going to place that into the molds now and continue my pour. So I think I kind of want it off-centered, kind of off to the side here. So I'm just going to place that down in there. And now just continue that pour. Beautiful. And I do have a little bit of batter left over and definitely don't want delicious smelling soap to go to waste. So I'm just going to add the remainder of everything I have and I'm going to pour it in a little cavity mold that I have and those will be bars for me. Well, this blend behaved absolutely beautifully and smells amazing. Cannot wait to unmold this tomorrow and get it cut and smell it and I just I think it's gonna be incredible. I really think that any way you blend these fragrances together is going to be amazing because they all share that same just wonderful rich coffee note and the sweet just oh, so good. So if you want to try this blend and you want to try it at different ratios, I really think that any which way you go about it, it's going to create such an amazing scent. And the, the fragrances in and of themselves are oh, truly, truly mouthwatering and tempting not to take a sip.
So really, any way you use these, either alone in a batch on their own or blended together in your own favorite blend, it's going to smell fantastic. But I definitely, I couldn't see any of this delicious concoction go to waste. So I'm going to put these off to the side to save them for me or friends and family. And then as soon as the top of our soap sets up enough to be able to hold some soap frosting, we'll pipe the top with Gretel's Morning Cup fragrance oil. So I'll bring you guys back when we're ready. So the top of my soap has set up nicely, so it's time to pipe the top. I did take a little skewer through it and make a fun little design because I just couldn't resist. But let's get to piping the top of this delicious smelling soap. I'm telling you, you gotta count how many times I say delicious or incredible or fantastic or delectable throughout this video because Oh, it so is, and I know I keep saying it, but it's only because it's true. It smells so good. Whole kitchen smells amazing, so let's get going with the top of this soap. So here is my melted down oils in this little container here. I've got 16 ounces of my base oils. I've already added the Gretel's Morning Cup fragrance oil. And in uh, joining that inevitable discoloration, I also added more of that brown latte mica. So let's get the lye solution added to what will be the piped top of our coffee soap. So I'm just going to get this stirred in and incorporated first before I hit it with my stick blender. I really think that this Gretel's Morning Cup fragrance oil is going to go so well with the fragrance oil blend in the main batch. I just, I think the whole soap is gonna come out smelling good enough to eat. It already is smelling that way. So let's get this stick blended to trace. And then once it has reached trace, I'm going to allow it to set up further until it reaches piping consistency. So I've got my soap batter to a nice light going on medium trace here. So I'm just going to let this sit and um, just kind of get more uh, solid to a more pipe pipeable consistency. And then I'll bring you back when it's time to pipe the top. All right, so we are at perfect piping consistency. This is looking like chocolate frosting and smelling amazing. So I better get this piped and on top of that soap before I start dipping my fingers in there and tasting it. So let's get this in the piping bag. All right, our piping bag is ready. It's time to pipe the top of this soap. All right, so the top of the soap is piped. It's looking delicious and wonderful. I actually had a little uh, leftover piping, so I just piled it all on there on top. So a little extra embellishment going on, but this is an extra kind of soap with how decadent and delicious it smells, so I figured it just kind of went along with the theme. So from here, let's get a little bling going on and uh, get those embeds placed on top too. So I always like to add a little bit of shimmer to my soaps. So for this one, I'm going to be using, it is called Mystic Gold Enviro Glitter. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top, but it's kind of like a, it's an eco-friendly glitter that is predominantly white, but it has just beautiful, specks of gold in it uh, when you look at it in the light. So I just thought that was perfect. So we're going to go ahead and put some of this on top of that. It's 
So now that the beautiful golden Enviro glitter is on top of the soap, I also thought it would be fun, since I also don't ever know when to uh, leave well enough alone, I also thought it would be fun to do a mica drizzle, since this is actually going to discolor quite darker than what it already is. Um, just something to kind of contrast with that darkening I thought would look really cool. So I'm going to do a mica drizzle of this um, butterscotch mica right on top of the soap as well. Alright, so we have our beautiful shimmery gold um, eco glitter and then a little bit of a butterscotch colored or a caramel colored uh, mica drizzle on top so it's looking just ugh. I want to say delectable but I know I keep saying it it just looks so good and delicious so time to get those embeds placed on top so here are the embeds that are going to go on top. I've chosen, um, I mean, they're kind of like, or are supposed to resemble little caramel candies. So those will go in the middle. And then on either side of our, oops, dropping stuff. On either side of our soapy project, I've got a little coffee pot and then little teacups that will also go on the soap. So let's get those on and I will bring you back as soon as everything's decked out and show you what it looks like. All right, so the embeds are placed. The soap is looking absolutely rich. I want to eat this so badly. It smells delicious. So it is time to put this baby to bed for 24 hours, but I'll give you an up close look before I do that. So we've got our golden sparkles going on, then that uh, caramel color drizzle. We've got our little caramel candies in the middle here, and our teapot embeds on one side, and then our teacup embeds on the other. And of course, this uh, soap frosting itself will actually discolor to quite a bit darker. So I'm hoping that especially that mica drizzle is going to stand out more and the little caramel um, caramel candies that we put on top will also stand out more once the discoloration darkens up uh, this soap frosting a little bit more. But for right now, everything looks beautiful and it's just, it's smelling, I hate to say it you guys, I know, but it's smelling so good. So I'm going to um, get this sprayed with a little bit of 91% rubbing alcohol and that will help to prevent soda ash. And then from here, I'm just going to uh, insulate this and we'll be back tomorrow to um, cut this up and see what it looks like on the inside. So we'll see you guys then. Well, we're back the next day to cut our absolutely amazing smelling coffee soap. I already cut off the first end piece and even the end piece looks really, really cool. I'm so happy with this. And the smell, oh to die for. This turned out better than expected. I'm so pleased with this. So let's get that first official cut and see what it looks like. And there it is. It's looking absolutely beautiful. We've got this little heart going on on the side because you know I love coffee. All the beautiful swirls of coffee and caramel type colors. You can see here there's some dark spots beginning. Um, in the soap frosting portion and that's just where the discoloration of the uh, vanillin in the fragrance oil is starting to discolor the soap but I expected that and embraced it and then on top we have here our little caramel um, candy or representing a caramel candy we've got the um, coffee cup on one side our coffee kettle on the other and then all that gorgeous sparkle and a caramel drizzle on the top. It is looking and smelling absolutely decadent. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Like I said, I never know if my blends are going to turn out 
any good or not. It really is uh, just kind of trial and error and keep on trying, but wow, this one, I just, I don't think you can go wrong when blending these delicious fragrance oils together, but it just, wow, it turned out absolutely incredible smelling. So I am so, so pleased with how this turned out and I'm just, I can't wait for these to cure and be able to use them. I hope that you guys were able to learn something new in this video. Um, if you have any questions at all, um, anything related to soap making or adding um, coffee to your soaps or coffee grounds or anything crafty related, um, head on over to the Candle and Bath and Body Making for Beginners group on Facebook. There are so, so many talented crafters in that group who are just absolutely amazing in helping out their fellow crafters. So please, if you're not already a member, come and join us over there and bring your questions, ask away. There is always someone there to help and guide you every step of the way. But for the time being, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I'm so pleased with how these turned out. If you would like to try this blend in your own soapy creations at home, or if you just want an absolutely fabulous coffee scented fragrance oil, there's many of them to choose from over at Nature's Fragrance. So go over to Nature's Fragrance at www.naturesfragrance.com and check out their delicious, absolutely delectable coffee fragrance oils. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. They just, all of them smell amazing. So again, thank you so, so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye guys.